Hello, teachers. How are you? Hello, Hello teacher Alexis. Hello, Unyan. How are you? Can you hear me well? Um, can you... I see you freezing. Can you hear me well? I see you. Yeah, yeah, but I can you like your cam has had some problem like you are freezing. Can you try again? My what cam? Yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Let me see. The Okay, very good. Much better? Yeah, much better. Great. So look Thank at this. God, I just want to have some, I have the cylinder for the end of the semester test for the Vietnamese subjects. Okay. Uh -uh. Yeah, I just like, I just finished some Cambridge subjects and they have or not. Okay. They have the Vietnamese subjects already. You got them there? I got the like I got the timetable for the test for the end of the exam Vietnamese Vietnamese uh exam. Oh, Vietnamese exam. All right, all right. Yeah. I understand. And I just I just. Uh, Finish the Cambridge one and then they have another one. Oh, nice, so, nice. So you took a Cambridge test, the, the you took the B1, right? Yeah, I took the Cambridge subject test and then they, now I just finished it and, and they have another one for me. Okay, I see, I see. All right, so yeah, let's get started with our today's class before we continue with the rest of it. And we're going to check it out if you have it there or anything you need. So we're going to check this out as we did before. Um, it's very important to cover part of this. So, Nyan, can you tell me what did we do yesterday in our amazing class, one of the most amazing classes we ever had? Let me see. So, like, we just finished. Uh, like, uh, I, I remember this grandma, but I'm not really know what is it. Like, I have too much thing to remember. It was remember. part of a grammar, but in fact, it was vocabulary. Um, It has a little bit of grammar, but in general, it was vocabulary. Yeah. All right. It's so. Like too much thing to remember though. So <laughs> yeah, I, I agree yeah. that you may have a lot of things to remember because it's not it's not easy, you know, having so many things. But I do understand that it's not easy. So and when when you grow up, when you become an adult, you may have more responsibilities. And let's just get ready for this today's learning adventure. Let me just tell you what did we talk yesterday about in our class. What we talked about in our previous lesson was all about the human body. All right. We categorized the exercises. All right. Where the body was divided into three. All right. The upper part, the middle pad part, and legs. All right. With most of all, it was all about the extremities. So can you see my screen, by the way? Yeah, I can see it. So we can see here parts of the body. I'm going to mention, all right, um, where, let's just, that's just to refresh, all right? We're going to continue with a new lesson. And I just want to refresh what we covered yesterday in our class, right? So... In our yesterday class, all right, we covered this. Can you tell me the parts of the body? Can you tell me the parts of the human body 
that we may come across, all right, in part A? Um, part A, so uh, fingernail. Fingers, yeah. nails, Gales. Yeah. Scalp, yeah, I think so. Scalp. Mm -hmm. Scalp, actually. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be the let me see. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. For the ends. All right. So, and what about for part B? What else can you find over there? Part B. Uh, let me see. You can just break them. Um, Is the, the how can I call this the hip? Yeah, okay. the hip. Okay, the hip. All right, the hip. That's correct. And what about for part C? What else can you find over there? Part C. Yeah, part C. Uh, toe, the toe. The toes, that is correct, that is correct. Well done, you did a pretty good job. All right, so perfectly fine. Great, so let's continue. Legs, toes, that's right. We cover all this with this exercise. So we talk about um, joints. Also, we have as a homework, all right, to categorize this uh, exercise. So in today's mm -hmm. class, we, okay. in today's okay. class, Nyan, we are going to have 4B, all right, the part 4B, that is grammar. So there where we're gonna cover the past simple, all right? The past simple, that is a contrast, all right? Past simple and present perfect contrast, all right? So there we're gonna cover some grammar. Let me show you here, because I'm not sure that's quite important. So let's see. Let's see. So let's see the first part. I want you to look at the photo. And then after that, once you look at the photo, then I want you to read this. We are going to understand what happened here. Inspire, inspire. Let's see, Danny McCaskill. What are you in English? I still say uh, that uh, the first one, the first slide, you oh. need for body and mind. And you will share. Thank Let me you. see something. Can you see? Yeah, I can see it now, but like twice all small. Oh, partially. You can partially see. I can see it now. Okay, let me see. All right, let me see this. Let me see. Let's see. Okay, let me see. Something else to add. Give me just one second. Okay, can you say now? 
Can you see a noun, Jan? Okay. Yes, I can see a noun, thank you. Okay, so now you can uh, read inspire, all right? Look at the photo and then read inspire. Danny Mac asks you. All right, let's see. Island has lived in Edinburgh. Uh, yeah, Edinburgh since 2006. Thanks to the internet, he has become one of the most famous stunt writers in the world. Three years ago, he made a video called Mountain by Strict Strictstar and posted posted in a it on YouTube, three million people watch it. it. His most recent video is called Inspired Bicycles. It has already had half of a million views and it hasn't been on YouTube for more than a few days. His videos are so successful that Danny has given up his regular job and become a professional mountain bike rider. Danny has always enjoyed doing stunts, not surprisingly, he ha he's had a lot of accidents. In fact, he can ride at the moment because he has just broken his collarbone for the third time in the past six months. Okay, so here I have questions for you now that you read this. Uh, the question for you is the following. Okay, uh, what is the what is the man doing? Um, he is doing his the YouTuber, the the, the 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 mountain rider, about mountain bike rider and YouTuber. He's yeah. riding and doing stunts, all right? Doing stunts on a mountain bike. Have you ever had a mountain bike like those ones that you just go ahead and go up with the changes, the different yeah. levels? I heard some, yeah. Like some of my friends and like have the dream to be the, 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 the mountain bike. Okay, so no. let's see. Is this job, is this job, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me ask you something. Is this job or just a hobby? Job, job, his job now. Like he, he uh, given up his regular job and be a professional mountain bike rider. Okay. Is this a job it's, or a hobby? It's a, yeah, it is a job. Job, a job, not a hobby. Okay. Uh, really. Which country is he in? Edinburgh. Where Edinburgh is, post Scotland, right? Uh, in UK. Okay, okay. He's in Edinburgh, and this Edinburgh is a city, apparently. And he's uh, apparently uh, in, in Scotland. Scotland. Okay. Due to the internet, he is now in. He is now. Okay, in this Scotland. is job, right? So yeah, let me show you something here. This is a learn this learn this box. This, uh, Something that we use so often in this level, in this course, because you are in level C, solutions uh, number three, all right? So present, perfect, and past simple. We're going to do the following. We will identify the difference when to use the present, perf uh, present perfect and the past simple, all right? So first, I want you to know that we use the past simple to talk about complete events in the past, often with words that refer to a specific time. Example, yesterday, two years ago, 
etc. So look at there. Can you read the example for me of the number one? I went. I went and last weekend. Okay. Did you read it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did not right. listen well. It, it looks like, I don't know whether the internet was breaking up from your end, Yan, or your volume, your audio. So I didn't manage to listen uh, well. Can you hear me clear now? Now Wait, I can. Now. now, now it's better. Now it's better. Uh, I went to. Uh, I went to London last weekend. Okay. So number two, we use the present perfect to say how long a current situation has existed, often with four or things, like in this I've case. Can you I've read the example? Here, I've worked here for, for a year and I still work here. Okay, I worked here for a year and I still work here. Next yeah. one. Talk about an experience, all right? Talk about an experience at an a specified time in the past. Um, uh, have you ever been? Have you ever been to Paris? No, I haven't. Okay, well done. All right, so pretty good job to talk about your recent events that have a connection with the present, which sometimes use already, just, or yet. Give me a, can you read the example? Uh, you look happy. Okay. I just got my exam result. Yeah, and you are have very high school. Yeah, that's why you have very you look happy i've just got my exam results all right everyone's one gets good marks good results yeah. then it's gonna feel happy <laughs> even the teacher yeah. feel even the teacher feel happier when the students achieve all their goals right yeah yeah so look at the verbs in red in the test which are present perfect all right and which are the past simple? Read the learn this box and match the present perfect examples in the test with the use with uses A to C. Let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna continue. Oh wow. Uh, oh wow. Can you see my screen? Uh -huh. No, not really. Go Can you read it? Let me see. No, no problem. Like somebody okay. says, my friend, those are small things. <laughs> okay. Can you see it now? Okay, I can see it now. Okay, so I want mm -hmm. you to look at the verbs in red. Look at this exercise. You are going to look at the verbs in red in the test, which are represent, um, which are present perfect, and which are the the past simple. So you can read and learn this box and match the present perfect, right, with examples in the test with you uh, use A to C. So look at there. What I'm gonna do here in this exercise, Nyan, is that you're gonna use your chat box. And you will tell me which one are in the present perfect and which one are in the future participle, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you, I think you can do it in four minutes, right? Four to five minutes to come to do it. So you're gonna send yeah. me, for example, like this. Let me show you the format so that you don't get confused. Look at this, give me a second.
Okay, look at this, for example. You're gonna do it this way. Look at the chat. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. For example, you first. Say, um, no, I'm in the oh, Okay, in the south. Uh, simple, the yeah. Zoom, yeah. And then once you finish, pass perfect. All right, like this. Same as you did yesterday. I mean, like you're gonna do it like categorizing. First, you start with one and then the other one. Takes five minutes. And you will have in this in this grade, in this course of uh, solution number three, more independent practice compared to the previous level, of course. Wait, so can, I, can I say PS for class symbol and PS? Yeah, PS you, for absolutely, absolutely. You can use the abbreviation. That's fine. I give you five minutes, do your best.
Okay, time is over. Let me see, Nyan, what you did. Five minutes passed. All right, let me see. Hello. Yeah, you want back? Yeah, I, yeah. I send you exercise. Okay, let me see your independent practice, what you did. Let me see. Pass simple. Are you up? What else? Uh, grew up. Has lift. Right. Has, has lift. lift. Has All right. Um, made, post, watched. Has already had. Has given up. Had is had. Past perfect. Hasn't been. Become. Has always enjoyed. Um, it is just broken. Is it wrong in something? Um, in some corrections I need to make. Look at this. Past simple, past perfect, all right? PP, all right? Let's go with the PP, okay? PP. 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 Yeah. In the past simple, you have some PPs that are not supposed to be there. For example, has lived, that is past perfect. That's not past yeah. simple. Has become. Past perfect, it's not past simple. Has already had. Okay, this is, um. let me see. This is past perfect, all right? Has given, past perfect too. So then the rest, past simple is when you use the ED and that's it or the regular verbs. For example, grew up, I grew up, I had, or oh, I talked, I worked, I grew, I, I wrote, that is just past simple. When you have to use a, another verb or an auxiliary verb, in this case have, right away one time that's gonna be past, past, uh, past perfect, I'm sorry, all right? Let's continue. Let's go ahead with the next exercise. Nyan. Okay. So here we have <laughs> another exercise. Let me see if I manage to, oh no, it's not working. And yeah, and my class manager told me it was gonna be ready for Monday. No problem, let me see. Can you fix it? Oh, let me see if I have this, no. So let's do something. Uh, the exercise is simple. I don't have the audio file right now, but that's not a big deal. We can still do the exercise with, mm -hmm. with no need of using the audio, but I'm gonna make uh, my connections to fix this problem. Yeah. But can you try? So when we have the audio, Five, it's much like, easier. It's much easier. That's right. Let me see. Or unless no, I don't think it's gonna. It has to do. It's not. A, it's not on me. It's something that I have to solve with my supervisor. Let me see what's happened. So uh, look at what I'm gonna do. Let me see if I, I don't think she's she may be available by the time because today is Sunday in your local time. But what I do is the following. We can do this exercise like this, just for this occasion. And I'll talk to her for this week to, to help me solve this problem, all right? Will right. you think that's gonna be okay? Okay. So next so week. We it, right? So now next week we're gonna do it, right? Yeah, next week we're gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna talk to her because I really need it because uh, you know, or let me see something here. No, um, let me see something. I think I can do something that is different. Let me see if I have another option here. Look at this. But I don't know if AF is going to work. 
No, I don't think it's going to work. Let me see. I have another option, but it may take it may take longer. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it this way. What? What do I? I have. I think I have one way possible to do it. If it doesn't work, so we give up. I have an idea. Okay. What? Well. What is it? Let me see. I will try. Oh no. This way. I think I have an idea. Let me see. So, got it. If this one works, yeah, I think so. But it may take longer. Uh, let me see. I don't want it to take our time, but this one I think may work. Oh no, it's not, it's not like I said, it may take longer. Let me see. If I do it, no. No, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be a headache. No problem. So let's do something. I told, I told it was going to work, but now I, I realize it now because I'm using this device. Anyways, let's try this. So I want to skip this exercise for this moment. We can also do it, but I'm afraid that then it's going to be, uh, let me see if you can do it. I don't know. Look at this one. I'm going to give you an example and maybe you can try. If you see that it's difficult, so we do it for the next class, all right? Okay. Okay, look at this. When, and then here you complete with did. When did, okay, when did you? Oh, okay. When did you start? Kaya surfing. Then, so we have the next one. Look at this. Let me get you. Let me get you the answer. Okay. Okay. Then, ten years ago, I. Ten years ago, I went kayaking a few times with my family. 
later, later my brother, brother all right took, took me to the pitch and we went kayaking in the weights i've been a fan since that day okay most people haven't heard of kayak surfing what is it it's like surfing but you are in the kayak not on a board the sport has become a lot more popular in the past few years have you had much success in the sport yes i have won several medals so far including the junior world championship wow when did you win uh that in 2009 okay okay well done you did a great job so let's continue Nyan. so look at what we are going to do in this exercise we are going to find these time expressions in the dialogue in exercise number three and then add them to the chart below look at there so we have yesterday last week a year ago this morning for a week yet already today so here look at there look at the examples so we have later since so far in the past 10 years whatever so you're gonna you're gonna do the following look at there So you're gonna do, do the following. You're gonna do it as in the exercise number three, but you're gonna take, take the verbs, all right? That might be used in the past, all right? I mean, the, the words that may be used in the past or the present, the, the, the phrases, I'm sorry. So then I'm gonna give you, let me see what time is it? I'm gonna give you two minutes, all right? So look at the test. And you can get it from the exercise number three. Past simple, you have yesterday, last week, years ago. Present perfect, you have yet, already, and today. So let's see, there you can find it. No, can you go back? I screenshot that already. Can okay. Okay, no problem. No, right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. Yeah. You can go ahead and take it. Like you can go ahead and do it. All right. Just let me know once you're ready, and I will proceed asking you questions. Okay. Let me start now. Hello. Yes. How can we start now? Okay, so look at there. Remember, it's just to find these words. Did you find it? Yeah, okay. In, thousand, in 2009, it's passing okay. ball. In the past few years, it's the passing ball. Later, okay. it's present perfect. Since it's past simple, so far it's present perfect. 10 years ago, it's past simple. Present perfect, right? Yeah. Okay, so the ones that you have, all right, for, uh, which means it, it was 10 years ago. This way is a present perfect. So let me see something. There is something, Nyan, that you think you're missing one of the words from the box? No, what is it? Okay, so you could learn all this, right? Yeah. Did you find new words? No, there's a lot of things I learned already. I okay. Need... Okay. Great, glad to, glad to hear. Next, continue. So look at there, we have in later than two years. We have in the past few years since 
so far. Okay? So now look at this. Let me ask you something. Have you been eating out the past? And I mean, have you have you been shopping in the past few months, Nyan? No. Okay. What did you what did you buy? What did you buy? Um, a toys. Okay. I bought. Okay. 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 That's that's just help you to take out uh, before the different barrier uh, before this part. So I think you did it very well. Nyan, let me give you an exercise. This part. Have you been shopping in the past few months? I mean, this exercise. Have you been shopping in the past few months? What will be your answers? Yes, I have. What did you buy? I'm sorry. Can you say it? I said I bought some toys. Okay, you bought some toys. All right, good job. So, Nyan, let me talk about your homework. So, I'm going to give you this one if you can a screenshot. Your homework for the next class is going to be to complete the, this email. So, it's possible that in the next class, we start talking about emails. All right? Okay. okay. For the next one. And I to encourage you to fill this one because I'm going to ask you for questions. Thank you very much. And then I hope to see you in the next class. All right? Bye. Goodbye, Nyan. Okay. Goodbye, Nyan.